Scorpio, welcome to your weekly read. This is your weekly read for April 14th through the 24th. General reading will not resonate with every Scorpio. Um, this is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Scorpio placements in your chart, there may be messages in the reading for you. If not, you're more than welcome to check out any of the other 12 videos. They are all for all of you, right? We are all everybody. We are all, all the signs. Um, I am currently open for personal readings for a short time, not a long time. All that information is in the description box. Check it out um, if you need to, if you want to. Um, to all my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the family. My returning subscribers, welcome back, guys. Hope you all are doing well. And we're jumping right in for Scorpio. Ooh, got a little bunch here. I ain't mad at that. Oh, perfect amount. We got some extras. Two extras. I'll take them. Because clearly the message wanted to come through. All right. Also going to pull a animal oracle card for you at the end, as well as a work your light oracle card, just to give you some more scoops, some more info for the week, right? Some more guidance. Let you know what's going on and how to deal with it, okay? And on the deck, we have the Knight of Cups. Your energy, absolutely, could be dealing with another water sign, obviously, but this could definitely be you wanting to communicate some sort of emotions here to someone or extend an offer of romance to somebody, right? Knight of Cups speaks to an offer of love, asking someone on a date, asking someone to be your girlfriend, um, you know, expressing your emotions to somebody, some sort of emotional declaration right letting someone know you're interested in other words right definitely could be you this could be someone approaching you this week y'all will have to let me know your past position you have major arcana the star card aquarius energy could be dealing with aquarius have that in your chart but this is healing energy right wish fulfillment as well so definitely could have been a person place or thing that you definitely had your eye on um wanted was wishing for to you it was like the ultimate thing um but um, also could have been some healing that needs to take place in, before you were able to obtain this sort of dream, wish, situation or thing, person, whatever it is for you, right? In your present position, you have another major arcana, one, two, three out of six cards. Um, Ace of Wands, passion here, definitely some passion. You may be wishing for some passion. There could be definitely someone in particular um, that is either wanting to extend some sort of emotional, passionate offer to you, or you're wanting to extend some sort of emotional passion to someone. Someone that you see as wish fulfillment, someone as you see as your ideal mate. Okay, definitely this is about a relationship here, okay? Um, passion, this is intimacy, this is passion, this is sparks flying. Someone wants a new beginning here. Someone wants to express and extend themselves in a romantic, passionate way towards you, okay? Because you are the ideal. You are the pinnacle here, all right? Someone was very happy at one point. This could definitely be a past person, right? Or this could just be you wishing for something that is worth your time, something passionate, something, you know, your dream person, whatever your dream person is for you. We all have different dream people, right? Future position, we have the sun card, Leo energy. Could be dealing with the Leo. But this is the happiest card in the deck. Like, you don't get happier than a baby on a pony, okay? Or a unicorn, I'm not sure. Oh, yes, unicorn, absolutely. There's nothing happier than that. This is potential. This is growth. This is fertility. This is, you know, the sun makes everything grow. Whereas with a little bit of water, which we have, right? Definitely water involved either way. So with that sun being there, there's... It's just unlimited, untapped. It's just infinite happiness, okay? And with the Ace of Wands, yeah. Someone is definitely looking at you like a prize or you're perceiving someone as the prize. And I think um, maybe someone's making a decision to express that, right? Might be out of the blue. Might be suddenly something you might not be expecting if this is someone that's wanting to approach you because I see the Tower card underneath the deck. Um, or this could be something that has ended, someone from the past that you ended things with. Because underneath the star card here, past position, we have seven of cups. Confusion energy. Also could be daydreaming energy. Absolutely. I mean, we have the naked star here. <laughs> oh, 
homegirl that's just in her natural environment, her natural habitat, right? Wish fulfillment, star, daydreaming, lots of dreams, fantasy. This is fantasy as well. Could be fantasy as well. Okay. Or there was confusion in the connection. Absolutely. There was a lot of confusion, a lot of smoke and mirrors, a lot of illusions because someone maybe wasn't, they weren't sure. They were confused emotionally because it is cups. They were emotionally confused. Although they identified that the situation was ideal or you identified the situation was ideal, someone had some sort of emotional confusion here. Okay, person position underneath the Ace of Wands, we have the Ten of Cups, more cups, more cups, right? So this is this is a lot of feels. You're in the feels, this person's in the feels, okay? If there was confusion in the past, there's none no more. Someone wants to heal that, okay? Someone wants to clear the illusion. Someone wants to, you know, make it obvious. Because, I mean, all this emotion, there was definitely potential here. I mean, Ten of Wands with the Ten of Cups. I mean, Ace of Wands with the Ten of Cups. Someone's digging you, or you're digging the hell out of someone. The two of you are just digging each other at this point. Or this is just, I mean, this could definitely be a relationship. But this doesn't necessarily have to be, right? You guys are about to just enjoy the hell out of life. Except for this bit. This kind of tells me that it's a relationship. The Sun card is um, future position, five of pentacles here. Underneath the Sun card. Someone feels alone. Someone feels left out. Someone feels lonely. And then we did get two extra cards, right? The Grinch, as I like to call him. The cheapskate. The, the, the you know, the Grinchy person. Or this is someone holding on to you, feeling alone. Juggling whether or not to maybe express this. Because we did have the Knight of Cups there at the bottom of the deck, right? Lots of pentacles. So this is happening in real time. 3D world. Tangible events. Someone is at this moment in time feeling really left out, really alone, right? But the thing is with the Five of Pentacles is that this is a self-choice. This is choosing to put yourself in the cold. This is not someone kicking you out, right? This is you choosing to be out in the cold. If you know the story, this is a church. And if you know a church, churches are always open. So how are you outside a church starving? You're choosing to be out in the cold. It also is a five card. A five is the energy of change. Someone needs to change, you know, the way they go about things. Because pentacles speak to our tangible world, our time, our energy, our efforts. Things we do in on planet Earth while we're awake that contribute to our daily lives, right? Someone needs to go about things differently. Juggling, though. Holding on to the situation. Holding back as well. But juggling. But someone is full of love here, full of love, full of life, but they're in a sort of poor me side type of mentality. And that's what needs to change. But I don't think it's going to last long. This person's probably going to have some sort of epiphany moment because their feelings are so damn deep and they can't hide it anymore. Right. Unknown, unknown to you or this is you not expressing, holding on, holding on, but not expressing. But that might come to an end. There's way too much cups and feels and passion and healing and wishes and happiness here to even, you know, someone, someone's going to burst. Someone is about to burst at the seams. Okay, I mean, come on. Can't, we can't resist that. I wouldn't. <laughs> Let's get you an animal oracle. What do you have for Scorpio? One card for Scorpio, April 14th through the 24th. Messages for their greatest and highest good. Someone is in love and they don't want to admit it. They're juggling whether or not to admit it. But someone has met their ideal match. Whoops. I don't know why. Maybe they messed it up in the past because of this self-doubt type of, you know, mentality. But hey, you let me know. This could be you. This could be the person you're dealing with. This could be the both of you. Right? One card for Scorpio, please. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Messages for their greatest and highest good. What Scorpio need to know? April 14th through the 24th. Come on. This is exactly the problem, Scorpio. Someone needs to speak up. They're too tight-lipped. Juggling whether or not to speak up. 
I don't like to take, I don't like to pull cards. Jumper, please, for Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> Tell you, you cannot make this up. Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stinks. Yeah, this is this five of pentacles energy. Right? So either you did something to piss this person off or this person did something to piss you off. That's why they're feeling out in the cold, right? This is clearly somebody that you know because, you know, a new person can't be holding on and feeling out in the cold if they haven't even met you yet or just met you. Unless they just met you, but either way, you've already had an experience with this person, right? Definitely could have been a towel moment. You could have, you know, ended this person because of the confusion, the emotional confusion that they were doing, giving you, right? But this is destined. It may have stung, but there was definitely a lesson a lesson here to learn, which I think somebody might be learning it now. Okay, what do we have here? Mirror. Who who or what is triggering you? Definitely some of some mirroring going on. Right? You withdrew your energy and this person, you know, you might have put this person out in the cold originally, but now they're continued. They're perpetuating the out in the coldness. They're continuing to perpetuate the, but they they're so happy. You make them so happy. This is what they want. They want passion. They want happiness. They want healing. But definitely expect some sort of communication or conversation. Right? For sure. Okay, Scorpio. Those are the messages I have for you. Hopefully, they were helpful. If they were, thumbs up the video for me. And I will see you next week.